The following content is provided under 4D Science Group. Hi everyone, today I will be explaining an example in pre-calculus, which is how to graph a parabola. There are many equations for parabola. Usually it gives you an expression and it then asks you to graph that expression. By looking at that expression, you can determine whether if it's a parabola, if it's a ellipsoid, or if it's a hyperabola, or any kind of graphs. But if you know all the equations, you will know that this is a parabola. And we have uh, around like four equations and different kind of parabola. It's the same, but it's going to be like reverse to the left, reverse to, uh, to, the, uh, to the right, it's upper, it's down, it's on the center. So. There are uh, many different equations. I'm sure that you, uh, if you look at your book, you can find all of these equations in a very nice order. And under each equation, you will have a value of p, which is the absolute value of the distance between uh, the vertex and the focus. And we will explain that soon. So the first thing you want to do is you look at your expression. By looking at your expression, you can determine that the proper equation you will use is this one. So this is our proper equation. After that, you go ahead and simplify your expression to match it with this expression. How are you going to do that? We see in here that this is uh, an expression which is y minus k. How are we going to transfer this expression y squared plus 6y plus 11 into y minus k between parentheses to the power 2? So the first thing you want to do is the following. You go ahead, you go ahead, what I'd like to do is I would like to transfer this into the right and this into the left. So I'm going to go ahead and say that y squared plus 6y, I'm going to stop in here, I'm going to complete the square, y squared plus 6y, you divide the 6 by 2, 3, and then you square the value you get. How to complete the square? You divide this value, you divide this value, let's call it a, you divide a by 2, and then you square. This is how to complete the square. So we have 6 right here, so we're going to write 6. 6 by 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So it's going to be plus 9. Now we completed, we, we completed the square, plus 11 equal x plus 9. 5 plus 9, if you add 9 into the right side, you ha uh, into, the, into the left side, you have to add 9 into the right side, or the opposite. If you add, uh, if you add a number in here, you have to add it in here. Or you, you can add it in here and subtract it in here as well. So we're going to complete the, complete the square. This is going to be y plus 3 square. And you can check that. y square plus 6y plus 9. That's right. Plus 11 equal x plus 9. And I would like to simplify this. I'm going to say this expression because I want to match it with this one is equal x minus 2 between parentheses and the value in here is 1. So right now this expression match this expression. The first thing we want to do is to find p. We have in here 4p, right? We have in here 1. That means 4p equal 1 which mean p equal one fourth. We get the value of p. Which mean that a equal to one. Because if you look in here, one over four, a, and here is one over four, that means a equal to one. We get the value of p. And we need the vertex. The vertex is h, k. We have h in here, we have h in here is two. We have k in here, and we have 
k in here, which is negative uh, 3. Why negative 3? Because our equation is negative, and here is positive. That means this value is negative. Because if, we, if you plug this in here, negative 3, you put negative 3 in here, it's going to be y plus 3. So this is why we have negative 3. You want to make sure that you don't, you don't do this mistake. And finally, the focal, focal point is going to be h plus p, which is going to be h. We know our h is 2 plus p, 1 over 4. So it's going to be 2 plus 1 over 4. And we know that our value k is negative 3. This is our equation. And we can simplify this more. This is going to be, everything is going to be over 4. And this is going to be 9 over 4. Sounds good. And right now, we are going to draw our equation. I'm not going to draw it uh, real hard, but I'm just going to try to make it clear to you. You're going to draw your axis, x and y axis. You're going to plug in your vertex. Your vertex is 2, 1, 2. You go down 3. Let's say this is 1, 2, 3. So you go down 3. Nice, this is your vertex. You plug in your focal point, which is 9 over 4, which is about uh, 9 over 4, uh, which is about uh, 2 plus p. So this is your vertex, v. And right now, we plug the focal point 9, 9 over 4, which is about 2 and uh, it's about 2 and, and 25, 2.25, which is going to be 2.25, which is might be in here. So this is our focal point. The distance, this distance, let me choose another color. I'm, I'm going to like... Uh, make this bigger. So here is V and here is F. So this distance is P. Not P, it's the absolute value of P. So if P were negative fourth, but it's positive fourth in this equation, so the distance is going to equal to 0.25. And right now we are going to draw our equation. So it's going to be something like that. This is very fast drawing, but uh, what you want to do is you want to plug in um, all of your values to make sure that this is right. Uh, you you want to plug in numbers to draw the right equation. But I'm just doing real fast just to give you an idea how to draw this equation. And it's open to the right because we use this kind of equations. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, let me know.